Hi, um, my name is Ayo Luangnofua, and I'm an investment banking analyst, and I currently work with um, Coronation Merchant Bank, um, with investment banking team. I mean, my role typically was one of the reasons why I decided to um, take up the financial modeling training with Dave Brown, because, I mean, financial modeling is a key um, part of my day-to-day -day activity as an investment banker. And truth be told, um, the Dave Brown consulting family, they were really helpful. I mean, starting from the advanced financial modeling training, without no um, prior knowledge in financial modeling, um, I started with Dave Brown. And I was able to you know, understand the basics of the um, financial modeling and not just you know, the basis, even the after exam support. I mean, while faced with you know, challenges and modeling even you know, at work, I mean, you can always reach out to someone at D Brown and for you know, just for clarity or just to you know, just pick your brain, so to say, um, and for you to be able to solve um, those challenges. And as well, um, also to mention that I recently also passed the AFF exam. That's a level one, the advanced and financial model. Um, and, I, and to do this, I took um, the AFM, the step-by-step -step guide training from D Brown as well. And also a mock exam was um, organized by D Brown. So the exam actually helped to, you know, um, prepare you. So, you know, just a, a simulation of what, you know, to expect for the real um, AFM exam. I mean, I, I initially, I thought it was going to be a waste of time. I mean, just, you know, you're thinking, oh, it's a mock exam. I mean, we've done this, we've seen um, sample questions. So why should we join in a mock exam? But really, it was really helpful. Also, together with a step-by-step guide, you know, just that just, you know, breaks down um, how to be the model from, you know, from scratch to the very end in just in a few hours or, you know, in a few um chapters so it's a course that you know you can typically finish in a day and also together with the mock exam the step-by-step -step guide i was able to um you know successfully pass the afm exam and really we asked you know my experience you know um while taking the exam or how i was really able to pass the exam i would say one it was um the exposure and the training from d brown and i would also say um the fact that even before the exam you know, I'd got my hands on, you know, so many models. I've built, you know, so many models for you know, big firms, you know, in FMCG, you know, build models for even, you know, one of the biggest banks um, in Nigeria at the moment. And I think that that made me, you know, my skills were, they were well sharpened, you know, for, for the exam. So when the exam came in, also taking the mock exam training from Debra, I mean, it was pretty easy and it was really something, you know, I could, I could relate with. And I could remember, you know, during the AFM exam, I think I spent um, just a little bit above two hours, I mean, to build the old um, the model as stated in the question. Even though I remember that at the end of the exam, you know, when I was just going through um, the question or the answer I submitted, I noticed, I mean, there was a part in my model that, you know, I forgot to link and it was just, you know, growing um, the fixed cost, you know, by, by inflation. And then, you know, I was panicking, right, that, I, I hope this doesn't cost me a lot because I mean I was so embarrassed if I could tell my friends that um you know with the with the with the kind of skills they taught in financial modeling that I did not pass the AFM exam. Or I mean to my surprise, um the result came out and then you know um I passed the exam. I mean in flying colors, if I can say that. So what what recommendation will I give? I mean. For financial modeling, I mean, the number one recommendation I'll give to anyone is, you know, enroll with the Brown. I mean, key to the courses, you know, learn, relate well with the instructors. I mean, because they'll definitely also be there for you, you know, even after the exam, you know, send them texts if that things, you know, you're not clear about or you need, you know, help with certain aspect of whatever um, modeling, you know, you want to really um, do, they'll definitely be there. And also for the um, AFM exam, to take the mock exam seriously because I think the mock exam, I mean, when I compared it what eventually came out, the difference was not a lot. I mean, I was not stunned by you know the structure or the kind of questions I mean that came out um, in the exam because I mean the mock exam had prepared my mind, I mean, and also prepared you know my thinking, so to say. So when the exam came in, it was just you know direct at it. I already know what to do, I already know how to do it, and then you know I did it perfectly. So, I mean, that, that's what I would say at this time. I mean, your way to becoming, you know, a world-class financial modeler, you need to take the right training, you need to 
you know, possess those skills. And then as you continue to build more and more models, you're definitely going to be world class. Thank you.